at the time of Jesus, people were used to three regular pious practices, almsgiving, prayer and fasting. In today's gospel text, which is taken from the gospel of Mark chapter 2 verses 18 to 22, Jesus is questioned about this pious practice. What is interesting is this, that in the question which Jesus is asked, we are not told that he does not fast. Rather, the question is, why do the disciples of John and others fast and your disciples do not? It is very likely that Jesus was fasting himself, but not imposing this pious practice on his disciples. And therefore, the allegation is against his disciples, not against Jesus. However, Jesus defends his disciples' freedom when he speaks of himself as the bridegroom and of his coming as a wedding banquet. And very clear, the presence of Jesus, the bridegroom, at the wedding banquet, which is the world of love. It is incongruous that fasting will take place. Someone does not attend a wedding because a person is fasting, but attends a wedding banquet in order to be able to participate in the festivities. This is the time, Jesus says, of festivities, which is a time of his presence with his disciples, and that is why the disciples cannot fast. There will be a time when the bridegroom Jesus is taken away. And here we come across the first passion prediction which Jesus makes, namely about his being taken away. That means his death on the cross and on that day they will fast. Jesus goes on to speak about how incongruous it will be to fast at a wedding banquet when he speaks about an unshrunk cloth being put on an old coat or an old cloak. If the unshrunk cloth is put on the old coat, what will happen is first, it will not match the old and secondly, when it is put into the water and washed, the unshrunk cloth, because it has not yet shrunk, will shrink and make the tear worse. Jesus also goes on to speak about new wine, which requires new wine skins. If the new wine is put into the old wine skins, the skins will burst and both the skins and the wine will be lost. What is the meaning of the unshrunk cloth and what is the meaning of the new wine? What is the meaning of the new skins? Jesus has come with newness. He has come to indicate and to proclaim and to tell people that the law is important and has its place, but it must be kept in its place. What is more important and always more important is the law of love which precedes every other law. The coming of Jesus is this new time where love takes precedence over everything else. And therefore, if love motivates a person to fast, then it is good. If love motivates a person to give alms, then it is good. If love motivates a person to pray, then it is good. However, these cannot be done because of external rituals alone, because of external pressure alone. If a person fasts only because it is a ritual, a person prays only because it is a ritual or gives alms only because it is a ritual, it is of no consequence whatever. The almsgiving, the prayer and the fasting cannot be efficacious. If they have to be efficacious, 
it has to come from within. And whatever comes from within becomes efficacious even as it is done. And so, we are invited through this interpretation of Jesus to realize that the rule can never become the end in itself, but always a means to reach God. If there is one rule that we must always follow, it is the rule of love. How often have you made rules ends in themselves when you realize that the rule is only a means to an end and never let rules rule you.